So us. we're back after a slight hiccup uh, with the real round four yep. of the Toronto System Open. Yep. Uh, so we've got a bit of a repair. We've got uh, Jean is going to stay on stream, but uh, we've got local Toronto player Aaron D instead yep. as his opponent with Absolutely. Uh, a staggering 4K wings. And actually, we're going to let these guys set up a bit while everyone gets settled. We're going to take a couple of minutes to talk about uh, uh, something that uh, was on your mind, Samit. Yeah, I just wanted to point out because it was actually they were talking about uh, they were talking about on the Gold Squadron podcast as well about the X Factor in Toronto, and they were saying about how we build weird lists. But somebody else, they also had mentioned how nobody has been talking about cost effective generics, and I myself have been really feeling like in this game in 2.0 specifically, I've been really tending towards lists that have a high level of cost effective generics and maybe one lead ship. Just having a lot of ships that are just really good chassis. Right. Um, I mean, we're still seeing a ton of like named pilots and stuff like that, but like, there's not like it's not as much as where it used to be, like where you'd have push the limit aces, where it was hinging on their pilot ability and right. pilot ability only. The the move to the chassis ability has been really really interesting because it's allowed us to have ships that you normally wouldn't always take in in all mass. Fortunately, we are streaming this match only in 1080p and not 4K. We no, apologize. we are streaming in 4K. Oh, we are in 4K. Oh, yeah. You missed, that was Aha. the <laughs> No, I was feeding into it. I was feeding into okay. it. Definitely after the points change, I saw a huge emphasis on uh, uh, generic pilots. I mean, we just saw a match yeah. last round. Actually, sorry. Before we do that, what you just saw there was a bit of a friendly exchange. They're exchanging alt art cards with each other, Aaron giving Jean a card and stuff like that. That's what we love to do in the local yep. communities. We go out there. We hand out swag. It's fun. It's awesome. It keeps that friendship level up and all that kind of stuff as well usually right. playing everybody with beer you know definitely the the value of generic pilots has gone up in scum at least i think it's across the board i mean imperial has always been like the, there's always been the swarm but there's there's just a lot of ships that have just really good chassis but i mean that's the point that i'm trying to make i'm interested to see what other people think about but like i know that you know for the most part it looks like the only um generic that jean's running is a rogue squadron escort yeah but i feel like that's so where the e-wings are going to live and breathe for the longest while because corin is still quite expensive to me well personally. i'm i'm surprised actually like his rogue squadron sorry e-wings they have that uh, long range scanner yes yeah old-fashioned long range scanner where they so can only I, take target locks outside of range three i would have assumed that okay torpedo carrier. with an ability like that yeah exactly it's a torpedo automatically. boat or something like that automatically right? But Jean probably didn't think about the fact that it's 12 points for a torpedo now. Sure. I just I would never have seen an E-Wing where you're not running some sort I know of it is. on it, right? Well, I mean, it's got a phenomenal dial still. It's a still a high. They did give right. it the extra shield, which it desperately needed. Um, it is an interesting ship, so we'll see at this match. At 61 points, that's an interesting build I never once conceived of, and, and maybe there's something there. It just it always felt like then the E-Wing's problem was is that Okay, you could take that one, or you could take a cheaper, yep. lower I initiative X wing, or a B wing, and why would you take the E wing over? It's almost like too too costly. Uh, but that goes back to the point that we were talking about it earlier on OCX. Yes, we listened. Great podcast, by the way. That was an awesome. Um, we were talking about the fact that, like, you know, you don't necessarily have to fill every slot. Like the right. E wing has a ton of slots. It has a system slot. It has. The torpedo slot, it has a droid slot, it has all these different things it can take and do, but you don't have to put everything on it. That's my point, is that maybe you can build an interesting ship based off of its chassis. Right. And I think that's a really positive thing that's happened in 2.0 that wasn't as prevalent in 1.0 is you didn't often take generics because without upgrades they weren't viable or things like that. Now again, I'm, I'm, there's lots of cases where I'll be wrong, but for the most part we are running you know, NIM with like 8,000 points of upgrades or... You know, you always took a PTL on whatever ship it was. But we're seeing ships without EPTs. We're seeing, seeing ships without droids even filled in the last match. Well, I think a lot of it has to do with, um, I think the quality of pilot abilities has gone up generally. Yeah. Um, as well as, you know, a lot of these ships have that sort of the chassis ability now for a lot of those mm -hmm. ships. And I love that they've split the two. Now, like, it made logical sense. Like, there has never been a ship. There has never been an interceptor that didn't take PTL. Right. So they burned PTL into the ship because it was the ship archetype and not the pilot archetype. And I love that. Yep. And when have you ever, when would you, we were talking about it earlier, when would you ever take Soonerfell with nothing on him? 2.0. Because I love it. Yep. So I find that an interesting different thing. So maybe we should jump into the list now because I think these guys are ready to get started soon. Okay. So uh, we, have, uh, we have Jean. This is the man of the hour this round. A bunch of people wanted to see uh, 
some Montrealers on stream. Absolutely. So you said he was from JJ Squadron in Montreal. Yeah, part well, of also Millennium they're uh, Condor. Millennium Condor. Yeah, yeah they're a good conglomerate. And of course, Aaron is uh, one of the PTL locals. Absolutely. And if you haven't already, you should definitely catch. You should definitely catch Aaron and a bunch of other PTLers like our Big Boss Seven on the OCX podcast. It's a great podcast. Thank you for having all of us out there. <coughs> Where's my invite? <laughs> but that's all good. Um, but yeah, it was. Uh, you should definitely check that one out if you haven't seen it yet. But let's talk Aaron's list. Everyone's favorite Aaron this, besides this me. This list Aaron is P's bringing the pain. Yes. This is like. It's like someone really wanted to play the TIE Bombers of old, like from the previous pointing, yep. but now it's in Rebel, like Barrage Rockets. So that's the thing. We were, we, we've we been hashing around about this on the Discord the other for the last little while. How does the Warden fit into place? And with its price readjustment, it's falling directly into a territory where it's quite spicy. And as anybody who watches VTTV Live and uh, PTL Open Champ, uh, PTL Season matches will know, Sabine on a K-Wing can be spicy. Right. Especially if you're me and get obliterated. So I, I love the change to Sabine. I think she's a lot more interesting. She's a lot more unique and fun. Um, I've never seen her right. yet in a list that had four bombs, so that's going to be nasty. It's going to be lots of opportunity for Aaron to use the four tokens that Celine gets, uh, Sabine gets to get starting of the game. So Sean starts off by bringing his AP5 over towards the two U-Wings. So have you flown U-Wings before, Samit? Like twice ever. Okay. I'm the worst person to ask about them. So what, what is the strategy here? Like what do you, what do you think John, John is going to do against uh, Aaron's list? I, I honestly, I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. Part of the reason why I was so yeah. excited to have him on the list is that he always takes ships that might not necessarily be the way you would use them. And right. he would use them in his own way. Like when I when he knocked me out of the top eight last time we played together um, way back when in 1.0, right? He had dash with like VI on it. Okay, very quickly, I just yeah. want to address what people are saying in the chat. People are asking why he has only two models. So, uh, Aaron does have four K wings. The model pegs broke off. Oh, K wing models are the worst. Yeah, and I so, have five K wings because yeah, three of them broke. He he has the models with him. He just sh he, sh he and he shielded them to the. Uh, you show them to the TO before the start of the tournament. So they are legal. You just, um, because the pegs broke off. If anybody has on. ever owned a K-Wing before, they know why he they're broken. They suck. I once broke three K-Wings in one match. Sad day. Mm. So Aaron is obviously deciding, I'm just going to take it to you. I'm going to slam all this firepower and haul down your throat. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get in there, and on the second turn, I'm going to be right in your face. Yeah, so I don't actually know how, how Jean's going to approach this, how he flies this list. Uh, two Tubes is very interesting, and he's got a lot of uh, focusing and tokening and token passing and stuff like that going on. Um, and, um, I mean, maybe he's using that in conjunction with the way that he wants the, the E-Wing to work. I feel like the E-Wing is going to come as a flanker. AP5 is going to hand out those coordinates for sure. And uh, you can see right there him using Lando. To, to do that interesting um, double evade action right there. There you go for the for the everybody to see. There were his four K wings. So the proof is in the K wings. So do we have confirmation on which K wing has to be on it? Yeah, number one. Number one. Okay, the one that's in the further back. That makes sense. The one hiding behind, behind the entire block yeah, of K-Wings. Uh, Sabine's ability is not range dependent, right? No, it's not at all. Yeah. It's, it's like a previous edition whenever you remove the token. Yep. So I think Aaron's game plan is relatively simple. He's going to come in. He's going to slam. He's just going to you know, barrage rocket something in the face and just take it off with sheer overwhelming dice power. It's not any different than the way the early yeah, uh, like TIE swarms are worrying like about. It's like the Rebel Skurg, actually. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's the way it feels. I mean, me. but it has proton bombs and it doesn't double tap. It only throws three okay. wholesome dice. Well, it's got barrage rockets. Yeah. Okay, so Aaron rolls blanks and takes two. I think all my cavings are magnetized because they all broke. Don't you find they're floppy though? When yeah, I hate, the, I hate it. I hate it. I bought magnets expecting to magnetize my whole squad. I don't like it. I never got around to doing it because my cavings were so unfun. I did it too. I I. I purchased a bunch of magnets and ball bearings with that goal in mind too, mm -hmm. and it just, I just—I discovered that I'm just way too lazy. To that, do that too, actually, thing. you know what? That was actually my biggest point. I mm -hmm. still have unpainted ships because I'm super lazy. The U-wing's dial is not that maneuverable, so I'm wondering. It does have a three bank though. 
Okay, but I'm I'm wondering what uh, three bank one forward. Oh yeah, I don't know. I mean, this guy can go. He can go coordinate like a million focuses or evades with Lando and all these other trickery things that are going I on. I feel there. like I feel like if uh, Jean does that, Aaron just slams this way. Well, I mean, he's kind Maybe. of he's kind of uh, leaving his E wing out to dry right there because if yep. the white if they actually you know what then again because he's on such a nice raking angle. These guys have to bank to go after that E-wing, at which point nothing really changes because the Y, the U-wings are too far back. Never mind. But I redact, the, the I redact other, my the statement. Other thing I'm, the other thing I, I'm thinking about now is that the Rogue Squadron Escort. I mean, you look at the upgrades. It's designed to take a little bit of punishment. Yes. Sort of a meat shield. You mean the Rogue Squadron? You think that's what? It, oh, well, because of the yeah. Elusive and Chopper, that's right? True, that's true. Recovering shields and uh, re-rolling evasion dice. That's true. I mean, it's like it's really only like the um, attack ship that he has. Like the U wings got like people sometimes seem to forget though the U wings rocking on three dice right there. And with that, he's got he's got the layer for the double spicy right. ninety degree white rotate yep. four dice in your face if he wants it to do. Uh, yes, his arcs are all pointed forward. I think actually uh, number four. Has number four is sideways. Like yeah, I think also Sabine's. Ship. Yeah, so two have it forward and two have it sideways. So. Yep. K-Wing, uh, so double K, one and four, have their arcs pointed sideways, and two and three. Of course, that doesn't matter with barrage rockets, because barrage rockets all fire forward. Of course. Uh, there's no double tapping going on here, but just in case he's covering, I think he's covering his bases. So we get a little bit of an approach situation here now. What does everybody want to do? I, I don't know. See, this is the thing. If I'm Aaron, what do I want to do? I kind of feel like I don't want to leave this E-Wing out there to, to harass me indefinitely. I know there's an absolute ton of hull down here to have to deal with. But this annoying little, you know, coordinator is such a pain in the bum. So what do you go after first? I'm not actually sure. Do we, do you three do you three bank, one bank, one bank, one bank, and just put all your arcs to bear that way, leaving your flank to the E Wing? Yeah, but wouldn't wouldn't the wouldn't the good thing to yeah, do take just, out AP five as quickly as possible with the So what happened there was AP five coordinated the Lando, Lando action that's right. and Benthic yeah. did that and only got the one. One focus. Oh sorry, half. Ben Thick is down here. So there you go. I guess we have our unless unless he decides to straighten it up. And let's just do. Yeah. See, I like this. You uh, you just point all your ships at the the biggest target, and you throw your barrage rockets. I mean, that's the strength of a list that's based on this, and it looks like that's what Aaron has decided to do. He's like, you know what? I'll deal with the E wing once the uh, once all the U wings and the AP five are gone. And I kind of get that. The E-Wing's a little bit squirrely. It's a little bit evade right. And it's a regener. You don't want to waste time damaging it unless you're confirmed that you're going to be able to kill it that round or the round after that. Because it'll just continually to regen one, you know, elusive, regen one, elusive. Yeah, all these K-Wings turning to uh, engage the two U-Wings. Yeah. It's going to be interesting to see uh, this first exchange. Now, U-Wings, despite their size, are fairly nimble. I mean, they got two evasion dice, right? The U-Wing, the K-Wing, the Skurg, the Punisher, what a great example of why we need medium bases. It just feels much more right. Yeah. It feels right. Well, the U-Wing especially. Especially the U-Wing, yeah. I mean, the Punisher definitely felt like a thick boy. Yep. And um, it definitely makes more sense. Oh, E-Wing coming in behind. Yeah. Yeah, that's why we wanted to represent Jean. He's always got a very interesting... Such a unique list building attitude. He always puts together stuff that you wouldn't see coming. He's been ro he was rocking U wings when um, mm -hmm. uh, the Rebel Aces pack or the uh, you know when the Rogue One pack dropped late 1.0. Right. He had some spicy stuff going on with U wings back then as well. He seems to have really taken to the ship. I mean, yeah, the man I knows how to drive big bases and medium bases. That's I've known. the thing about uh, that's the thing about the Montreal meta. Like they they're definitely playing some wacky stuff. I think John actually was uh, ended up being one of the top eight or top sixteen matches at Canadian Nationals last year. Oh yeah, was also Absolutely. flying a yeah, U wing there as well. Yep. yep. Didn't he? Didn't he beat one of the Howard brothers? Uh, he might have. I think he did. The Swiss. I don't want to. Like, he might have. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's actually a great point, though, uh, Ick Curator. That's where this list is interesting. Aaron can keep his um, his regular attack out the side and then yeah. his barrage forward. And look at that. It's uh, as if he was reading Chat's mind. He's like. Keeping his distance from the, the K-Wings, yeah. knowing full well that the Proton Bomb could hit him. But he still has 
at all times two arcs on that E wing if he wants it. Right. I like the way Aaron is setting this up with the with the two out the side and the two out the front, with him having normal arc. Oh. There's the E wing there. One one crit. K wing rolling one of Aiden. That's all it takes. One's enough. Thirty six hull to chew through. It's a ton. Got his work cut out for him. Yeah. So Aaron will select, and his arc is backward, so that K wing doesn't get to do anything. Barrage rockets is a focus, right? Yes, you okay. have to have focus in order to fire I it. I think he was just out of range of AP5 on number four. Yeah. He was measuring that. Looks like number three does have a shot on AP5 potentially. But then these two don't, and he's wondering. He wants to maximize his target priority, so I'm not sure yep. what he wants to do about So that is a pretty nasty stack to have to deal with on two evade dice. Now he is going to barrage rocket here. Yep. And he, and is, he is in the bullseye, bullseye, so he can re-roll one for yep. an extra charge. <laughs> Who needs rerolls when you Who just roll natties? And still only take one. Wow. That is a tanky U Wing. That's a really tanky U Wing. Wait, that's a double tanky U Wing. I With just realized I just. Pilot and Jinner, so right? Yeah, that's a yep. focus evade every turn, and then Lando could potentially be giving you double evades or focus evade yeah, as this, well. I mean, we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Right? This list is all about. Passing around the focus. This is an attrition list, I feel like. Spend it. Yeah, there you go. You're all about damage. This is again on number two, I believe. All right, this time not so lucky. Not so lucky. Taking two shields off of... Three, actually. Three shields, sorry. Off yep. two tubes. And another barrage rocket attack, Absolutely. I yeah, I got to get all that, as much of that ordinance off in the initial engagement. Oh yeah, not yeah, too, crit, not too shabby. Nice. Remember the uh, oh yeah, takes the one crit. Oh, and it is going to be a face-up card, right? Yep. Weapons what? failure. Oh, that's nasty. Oh. I mean, I don't, I don't think there's a good crit. Situationally, there's some. And now it's Sean's turn. All right, time to shoot back. But he does have that weapons failure, right? Yes. Nice. Who needs it? Yeah. So interesting. He's decided to not shoot at the Sabine one. So uh, yeah, bullseye gives rerolls. You can shoot at in the but front. You have, but you have to spend a charge to reroll it if yeah. they're in your bullseye. It's, I don't know if it's worth the reroll. Two damage yep. from there to there, and uh, Aaron rolled blanks. Yep. Or just. Uh, a bunch of stuff happened. The producer's going over to the table to double check all the hulls. So we'll have uh, we'll have the proper um, HP values updated in a minute. I'm pretty sure that feels accurate, though. Back. Who drops the bomb? Hmm. You know I what? maybe uh, S Sabine. I think drops maybe the bomb. this one here yeah. to ward off that. Yep. Because there's no way he one hards there, so don't waste the bomb there. That's my thought. Like Somebody that. set us up the bomb. Yeah, because if he gets a bomb off, I mean, he could tractor Sabine could tra no. I don't know if he could. It's a, it's a, it's that. not a bad use uh, of a deterrent. Yeah. He's got two, four, six, eight of them anyways. I, I might drop one just to ward off. Yeah. The, the E wing. I might drop one here and one there. Mm -hmm. I still have two here, two here, and then I have. Like if, if Aaron's scared, that would force him to turn away. And that I mean, I don't know so much if it is turns. he's scared. Yeah. It's the fact that the E wing can reload. The U wing can reload, and he's got. He's got eight bombs. Right. But then again, once he gets all of his K-Wings back in here and starts yep. dropping protons on all these jerks, it's a much different story. So he might want to hang on to all of them because, you know what, four bombs on the same ship at once is still four shield damage, and that hurts. I think we called it correctly. Oh, no. Okay. So it wasn't Sabine that's dropping the proton bomb. Number two. Actually... He might be dropping two of them, like you said. That one I'm not 100% sure of. Oh, he's dropping two there. Yep. He... That's curious. So what, what, wonder what move he was anticipating for the E-Wing. I, think, he, I uh... think he's banking entirely on the E-Wing going this way uh -huh. and eating two of them. Ah. I think he's put all of his money in there. I think he thinks no way Jean is going to do the hard one because that would be too obvious of a bomb drop. For sure, yeah. That's my only thought is what he's thinking. So you think maybe he was... 
thinking Jean was going to do a three bank. That's what I think Aaron is banking on and hoping that he tags that U-wing twice. Right. Uh, instead of hedging his bets and putting one there and the one that's there. Right. But who knows? I'm not in Aaron's mind, but ooh, that was a beautiful look at that. AP5 wow. is going to sit in there. Look at that. So here's what just happened there. AP5 cleared, coordinated a focus onto Benthic. Because Benthic has perceptive co-pilot, he gets two focuses. Because Benthic is Benthic, he passes one focus there. Enough focus passing for you? Rebel love. It also looks like the Aaron like also Abbott, has resistance. It's an Abbott and Costello routine. Who's right? Who's focus? on first? It yeah. very much is a who's on, who's on focus. <laughs> we should do that. We should redub over it. Who's got focus? That's what I'm asking you for. <laughs> Who got the focus? The PS2. They're all PS2. <laughs> Anyways, we're so old. <laughs> You know what? Thankfully, the XP community is full of such a nice, diverse, diverse age group. Most of us are old enough to drink, so it's great. Oh, man. AP5 is going to burn. I think well, you're I, right. I want to take this moment to point out that this game, in this game, the Rogue Squadron Escort is the ace. I know, right? <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's at, the at, arc at dodging the ace in this match. Yeah. <laughs> Discount core and horn. Yeah, I feel like, you, I, I feel like you've got to get AP5 out of there. Well, I mean... He's We're about, about to, to look at how many medium bases are on the board. Ugh. Four, five, six, six of them. Aaron was worried that he was going to bump himself. So, so that, is that four barrage rockets going at AP five? Uh, yes. <laughs> if he wants it to be, it might not even require four. Yeah. You probably start with number four out and then see what you're left with after dust settles. All right. Let's see what the E wing did. Let's see if... Well, actually, first got to resolve yep. uh, a stop. Ooh. Love it. Did stop. he pop, did he pop Leia? No. Nope. No. As he stresses. Saving it. Look at that. Jean's like, I am too smart what? for you. Look at that. You see? silly anglophone. <laughs> I'm not well, falling for it. But see, this, this still works out It for was worth Aaron. it. You got because eight bombs. it's a win-win situation for him, right? But I still think personally, in yeah. my heart of hearts, this one was enough as a deterrent. This one's just a waste. Okay. If you were going to drop two, drop one here and drop one there. You do a good enough. And besides, had he dropped one here, that might actually tag the Ewing. You don't know. But I don't discount it. It was no. a good choice. He bombs himself, uh, though. That's the problem. Yeah, but I mean, these are 2.0 per ton bombs, right? It's it's going to need a shield. Yes. I yeah. mean, if they were 1.0, they should cost 15 points each. If you're going to get two charges of them. Yeah. Agreed. That's what I was going to say. Crazy Vulcan, two damage yeah, is pretty heavy yourself. to not take it. No. I know you can't do that. I mean, it's two, it's two damage you didn't have to take. Sure. That's the only thing. I love the way he's closed on everybody. I love the way he's positioned. And I love Aaron just as general. But I wouldn't have dropped that second one, the one okay. that he got tagged by. Okay, so he was checking for barrage rockets yeah, range. Yeah, which means uh, he's in range he, one, so well, he cannot fire yeah. barrage rockets at range two to three only. Yeah. And as you can see, his firing arcs are out there. Yep. He's continuing to do that to protect, and I'm not going to waste an action on moving them. Right. So he's going to decide to go after AP5, which is where I would have put all of my damage and focus for, for three. Wait, so, so who, who was shooting there? Number two? Yeah, so uh, K-Wing one. Yeah. One K decided to shoot. Barrage rockets at AP5? I think it was AP5. Okay. Okay. Okay, so he's activating K-Wing 3 now, it looks like. He might want to try to finish off Benthek. Yeah. Two tubes. He's going to spend a charge to re-roll because it was in... Yep. Oh, yep. And there you go for the money. He's going to have to focus for one, take the two, the hit crit. Uh-oh. Structural, oh, structural damage, is nasty. Just one less agility die now, right? Yep. You know, he could kill him with a uh, number four barrage rocket. Yep. Yeah. And he, I th he does have the bullseye. I think you just try to guarantee. Uh, it's confusing for me because Aaron's named his ships opposite to yeah. ours. Our number four is his yep. air, is number three. And he's saying, I'm sure with number three. And I'm like, wait a second, son, you just did. But it is, I, I would definitely see him spend a charge for, uh, well, yeah, never mind. Who, okay. Who, never who mind. It? Just roll it? like, just roll like D. Yun. All right. You're fine. <laughs> so did he evade two there? No, he evaded one. Just the one? Yep. No, he evaded two. So just a crit. Panic pilot, double stress. That's disgusting. That's disgusting. I hate that crit. So Benthic is dead, right? Benthic's dead, but okay. he still gets to shoot. Yep. 
And uh, that's, that's exactly why Aaron decided to hold off on firing on number two. Right. So now like a priority, at- kids. Always makes sense with you to fire where it's maximum. It's yeah. almost as if barrage rockets are good, guys. Well, I just remember uh, them being used on the Thai bombers, right? We saw them. Yeah, they're the disgusting bombers. on them too. Yeah. Jeez. Okay, so this is AP five, right? AP five sitting on one. One health now. Yeah. So Benthic's going to activate, take the range one shot. Two hits. Eh, who cares? Oh, okay. maximum disrespect. <laughs> that one damn evade die that we've apparently said doesn't matter keeps rolling those evades. Now, I, I realize that sometimes you just don't have a choice because your opponent uh, effectively is covering the whole board. But yep. I feel like the theme of today's event has been don't joust these lists because this is what happens. But what could he do? I mean, that's the thing. With the medium base yeah. addition to the game, everybody's spreading out. And to be fair, this isn't as easy to comment. This was four ships that are medium base that right. all have the ability to get halfway across the board on turn one. Yep. That's the power of Aaron's list. I think nobody was talking about you wing K-Wings. We all thought they were DOA because they're so overpriced and so this and so that. He's found a way and well, he's found a game plan with them were, to activate though, them. Until the, until the latest points update, right? I don't right? know how much they got hit by. Let's see. Let's take a look. I don't know. I mean, I know Aaron in particular was gushing about how, how he could play four K-Wings now that the price went down. Yes. So I know he was gushing about that. I think let's you could see. even play five K-Wings if they were completely mm, naked. No, no, let's, let me see. I'm just looking for that damn document. Yep. All right, so Jean shooting with the E-wing. Or sorry, the U-wing shooting at, a, I believe, number two here. Oh, direct Ooh, a direct. Hit. So I think that puts him down to one hull on number two, I think, the Warden Squadron. So uh, he almost, he was almost able to trade that U-wing for the K-wing. Which is a little bit unfortunate because uh, if he was able to do that, then... So the Warden only dropped three points. Okay. However, across four of them, that's 12-point reduction. Yep. But Barrage went up. Oh, yeah? Barrage went up by one. So that's one, two, three, four. That's a net difference of eight points. I'm just sad that so this can't play Barrage Rockets. So this list just came down eight points. So, yeah, this wouldn't have been possible without the points reduction. Because you could only get three of them otherwise. However, don't forget, you could have always have dropped the proton bombs and still have flown four anyways before right. points reduction. It's just infinitely better. Basically, they got two-point proton bombs with the reduction. So I think... Uh, hmm, I wonder what Aaron's move is. You think he turns these guys this way? Why? One forward. AP5 is going to die eventually. So w- one forward... Well, AP5 is going to move... I don't... Because AP5 is going to move first, Sure. Right? He might be trying trying to get a but block or something. These two fire at that U wing. These two fire at AP five. This guy's got to come all the way back in. Right. Yeah. D- the double block. I think uh, the double block is what he really needs to do here. Uh, because if he can deny those um, focus tokens, yep. it's going to prevent him from firing more barrage rockets. Eh. I mean, at that point, if your turret's pointed the right way, you're still rolling three dice at range one. And, uh, yeah, I don't think you drop a bomb. Uh, Still, I mean, despite the fact that Jean correctly guessed where the bombs were going to drop last turn, that effectively put his E-Wing out of commission for that one turn. So AP-5, looked like it went two forward there. Yeah, and And coordinates. uh, Coordinate Lando. Because that's what it's there for. Also, remember, uh, no, not not AP-5. I was going to say... Yeah, you know what? I'm really surprised he didn't use that uh, Leia Organa that one turn, where he came, he did all stop. Where he stopped? Yeah. Yeah, that might have been a good turn. Well, I guess his list is kind of built around sharing and not really needing it with Lando right. and everything else. That wasn't a bump, was it? I no, guess, it fit. I wow. don't think it's going to matter, right? Because the U wing's probably going to bump there. He still can kill AP five anyways with his rear. Well, arc. yeah. I mean, getting the focus was huge. Three dice out the back. 
Oh, he <laughs> did bump. <laughs> Definitely a bump. Bumpity bump bump. Oh, yep. In card Mats makes a good point. Uh, Zeb is on Hef Tauber, so he is so going when you to bump, get... though. Yeah, so Hef is going to bump into this guy. Oh, yeah, so sure. still get to shoot at him. Yeah, that's fine. He's going to kill AP5 with this yep. one. He's going to shoot at that one with that one. For sure. That one's going to drop bombs next turn if he survives. Oh, I, I like that move. Yeah, that's a great move by Aaron. Nice. I love it a lot. He's going to keep Sabine safe by flying her around that way. And then that one is going to I mean, slam. at this point, is Sabine even all that necessary? Not really. Sabine's not really necessary at all, but I mean, an ion, an ion on a medium base does nothing for you. Yep. A stress is always good. Right. Uh, a jam is always good. Mm -hmm. This is an action-heavy list. Uh, but the tractor doesn't do shit for you. All right, is this Ewing coming around for the attack? Yeah, hard Oh, yeah, freeze. he has to. It absolutely has to get back into the Do game. Do Ewings have boost? Uh, yeah, they should, yeah. They may have a linked action. Yeah. They can link action into target lock, target and they lock, definitely yeah. have boost on the dial. And they can't target lock at range one, I think it is? They can't target lock outside of range three. So three and beyond is the only time they can do it. They have no target lock action at range two and three, the, two and one. Uh, Rogue Squadron Escort? Yeah, boost lock is kind of apparently supposed yeah, to be their yeah. gem. It's just range one they can't acquire lock set. Oh, I thought it was range one and two. Oh, that's even better. Someone then. else mentioned that. I think it was the old long range scanners was that ability. Yeah, old. That's yeah, and I just this logic, one is yeah. a better long range scanner. Yeah, I mean they would rather have. They would have preferred yeah. a. They probably would have preferred a focus into linked lock. Right. So this was the E-Wing shooting at number three. Yep. Successfully then. evades the one attack. Now comes the pain <laughs> where you have a kill box of K-Wings. Yep. A K-Box. So Aaron's deciding to activate ship two first, 2K, yep. because yep. if 2K can kill AP5, he can use 3K to fire at either or. Yep, makes sense. Or if he doesn't kill him, then he uses 3K to kill AP5. And if so somehow I, those two can't get it done, excellent, I like it. You put them in a K-Box. You know what? That's a good name for this list, K-Box. The K-Box. There's four points to a square, four coordinates, a vector. <laughs> it's 4K, K-Box. I like it. We're all about naming lists today. What, Chat, what, you guys are on fire. So wait, did AP5 live there or what? It looks like it. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Thanks, Subhedge. AP5 is dead, but in the new edition of 2.0, you don't remove a ship until the end of that activation. We're in Initiative 2 still, so it doesn't go away till the end of Initiative 2. They are playing it properly by the rules. In the old days, I, we I gotta read just, the rules sometimes. In the old days, <laughs> so should I. <laughs> Everything works like 1.0, but better, right? I don't know. Aaron Pappenhausen, where are you? I need you. <laughs> well, no, we don't need to read the rules. We have intelligent chat members who That's take care true, of it for yeah, us. Yeah. Remember, we're feelers, not They're thinkers. Exactly, right? Not readers. We're feelers. There it is. <laughs> I'm all about that feel, baby. Oh, I, I fully admit that I'm a scrub, 100%. Yeah, me too. That's why I'm commentating. All right. So Shaw's okay. on the board. He's got some K-Wing yeah, yeah, damage yeah. down. One, one down, three to go. Change the models. One U-Wing, one E-Wing. You got this, baby. Change the models. Let's get ships down. Sean, kill one more K-Wing, so we'll only be left with 2K. There uh, it is. Uh, there you go. Good guy. Don't Aaron. break that one. Yeah. <laughs> Careful. <laughs> you don't want you don't want three cloaked ships. I mean, the E-wing is still untouched. It regens. Hef is still untouched. He's got Lando. And Aaron's got some damage spread amongst all of his U-wing, K-wing. Sorry. Let's not discount Jean just yet. So what do you think? Uh, Sabine goes like this. Yeah, I mean, now she wants to probably Number stay out of the fight. Like that guy definitely hard twos. Yeah. This guy is 100% dropping a proton bomb, so Sabine's yep. going to have to slam. Yep. Two forward. Oh, that's going to crash. Ooh, he can drop a proton without bombing himself. Really? Even with the three forward? Does well, then he what? escape the bomb? Oh, yeah, probably. You're right. Three bank. And Aaron does have initiative, so he's going to get to move his uh, Does guy he have first. initiative? Yeah. Yeah, so Aaron... He's moving all his guys So Aaron first. could three bank with Sabine, right. drop a proton here, and then hard two there. And then this guy's going to one bank and say hello to, say hello to the e-wing. 
I think. I think. Uh, it, Hef is unstressed, so there's no reason why he can't just stop. Yeah, imagine Mirinak. He never used Leia. It was it was puzzling because there was a one turn where both U wings did a zero. Uh, that was a perfect time to use Leia. Yeah, potentially. I guess he was thinking it wasn't the opportunity. Like he may have been thinking, oh, the next turn I'm gonna do some hard maneuvers with my other guys. But yeah, kind of an odd decision there. Yeah. All right, so it does drop the bomb. So we'll see if John uh, correctly predicts this and indeed does a full stop maneuver on the U-Wing. So not, not quite a, a three bank like I was thinking, but it is a two turn. Uh, I think he's safe from the, from the bomb. I don't think he's gonna, gonna hit it necessarily. And now here's actually a situation where uh, Aaron is kind of exploiting the fact that Zeb is on Hef's ship because he'll he'll still get a shot even if they bump. I like this too because uh, number three doing that maneuver the way he did could could get the E wing to bump if he doesn't. That actually sets uh, number three up to drop a drop another bomb, I believe. on the following turn to maybe catch the E-Wing. Yep, there's that bump. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, you got a boost here, I think. Yeah, boost there, get out of that arc. Uh, well, okay, actually, so that guy can slam that way, okay. I'm not entirely sure if he escapes the turret of number three. Ooh, I don't know. That's That would be a judge call for sure. However, he's just bombing himself, though. Really? Is it? Yeah, oh absolutely. My God. He's only going to bomb himself this whole game. What are you doing? Why are you hitting yourself? At least you're three for three with your bombs. Jean doesn't need to do anything. Just let Aaron just, just drop a bunch of just bombs. Just stay in the just game long the game enough for Aaron way. to bomb himself into oblivion. <laughs> Sorry, I screwed that up. Yeah. New messages. So it, it does look like uh, actually he's going to get two shots. Jean might get two shots on uh, Sabine, right? So Hef and uh, Hef and I don't the think so because there's no shot there. So then, well, so the E-wing. E That's range three on an E-wing. I'm not worried about that. Okay. So I'm I'm confused. Did the E wing not shoot? He just did. That was U wing. That was that. U wing shot first already, and now it's K wing. It's K. It's K one. I mean, you might as well. You have Let's him. see if he bombs himself again. <laughs> I'm kind of hoping Aaron manages to bomb himself with every bomb he places. I really hope whatever he did doesn't clear. I, I will say, though, this time I think the bomb placement is good. Uh, yeah, this one makes sense. I mean, Hef might, Hef might Hef go zero. Stop. Yeah. Why not? Well, I mean, that, that might end up... Well, he could stop and... Could he pivot if he stopped? No, because he went one straight and bumped last round, so he could still stop this round. Right. And then he could, and then if, if, if Aaron goes this way, he can have Leia rotate and still mm -hmm. have his U-Wing that way. He doesn't have Leia anymore. Oh, he used Leia already. No, oh, AP Leia blew five. up. Leia, Leia ah. blew up. Oh, right, Leia was on AP5. Le ah. Leia took the wrong ride. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, see, he's going to get out of there. Oh, Aaron, you didn't bomb yourself. You had a streak <laughs> going. You were so close to for five out of five. It's okay. She can marry Poppins herself yeah, back yeah. to one of the yeah, U-Wings. So, so she's not dead, right? She's not dead. She'll just marry she, Poppins she herself just, back. She marry Poppins back on another ship. Yeah. Yeah, it, this looks Pivot. like a pivot, right? Yeah. Pivot. Pivot. So is is Aaron actually uh, 0 for 4 on bombing Jean's ships? Yeah, well that, yeah, because, Yes. Yes. Well, no, th this, this is going to be interesting. No, he's going to barrel roll. He's fine. He's going to barrel roll this way? 
Well, no, this he part? doesn't want to. I mean, the U, the E wing was in a. You know what? He's got. He can regen. He can chopper. That's take true. The I, I guess he's not all that worried. Take the damage. See, I'm, I'm still thinking of proton bombs as like the yeah, scary, they're scary. 1.0 yeah, ones that go under shields. Get too. Yeah. However, I will say, less than the damage from the bomb right now is the negative effect. He doesn't right, want the, the Sabine, Sabine effect. Yes. He doesn't want to get barrel rolled. Yep. He doesn't want to get ioned. He doesn't want to get stress or any of those other other things. That looks like he got out. And he still has space for his hard one, which unfortunately means he can't focus, he can't push now. Right. Or linked action, whatever the hell it's called, because he doesn't want to be stressed. Whoa, Aaron got somebody with a bomb other than himself. Wow. He's going to double stress him. Yeah, double uh, stress okay. with Sabine. That's a good call, Aaron. Double stress si ships sock. So what does that mean for Jean? He can't. Uh, He's got double stressed. He can't. He can't stop for another two turns. So his, exactly. His exactly. moves become extremely predictable. Not only now. that, that's a ship that's carrying Lando. Right. Lando is kind of like the whole point to like that ship sort of a thing. Oh, to like and, like and to get and, extra tokens and has stability. If you bump him, he can't take actions. He can't Lando. He can't right, do anything. Right. Right. You always want to drop an extra stress on something. Double stressing in this game is very detrimental. Well, also, it's a medium-based ship, so it's not like one ion token or one tractor beam token is going to do a lot. I mean, it does drop him down to zero evade, which isn't awful. Yep. But it's nothing. As, I don't think it's nearly as powerful as that. Plus, the other thing is the one ion does nothing for him. He, can't, he has no other way of getting ion back on him. Right. <clears throat> so he'll literally never use the ion. I mean, unless it was the last one he used. He should have ioned himself for lulls. That's what I would have done. The jam would be good, though, to be able to pull a token off. It doesn't last anymore in 2.0, so it goes at the end of the round. Yeah, number, number three doesn't have any bombs yet. And I think or the E-Wing is, e is down some shields now, too. Half is down two shields. <coughs> All right, so Hef uh, with a range one shot, unmodded. It's unfortunate. And, uh, no joy there. Hef got bombed. Yeah, yeah. Hef got bombed. And uh, should actually be at zero shield. shields, yes. And you can see it in the card, it's yeah. there. We're going to, producer Travis went over to do it, but yes, we are going to update that, guys. Thank you. Yeah, Jean's dice have not been too fun for him. We're seeing, we're seeing either incredibly close even or like, one opponent just having no luck at all. I don't right. know. Yep. No, sure. You make a valid point. Like mods are mods for a reason, right? They're unless you're D, you just roll like nothing but damage all the time. Yeah, Jean doesn't have any mods because he's double stressed and like uh, Samit mentioned. No, well the E wing also the E wing also blanked Lando. out. But I mean, you know, he, he also had to barrel roll out of the way so he wouldn't get. Listen, uh, guys, worrying about mods is for thinkers, and I'm a feeler, so I don't know <laughs> what he's talking about. So. I feel like this is going one way. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's my get out of jail free card. You, you know what feelers don't do? They don't worry about Take calculate what, tokens. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's exactly it. <laughs> That's exactly it. No, no, I know. I know, I know. <laughs> All right, so so what uh, number four, what do you th oh is one out of bombs? I, well, I don't think yeah. he's planning One's on out of bombs. Right now, but Otherwise, yeah. he would drop for sure. So, why do you think he went for the bump here? You think that was the only that that was the move that would position his turret in? Well, it's not just that. It's just he didn't want to go one forward and be looking at potentially hitting that debris. I guess. Sure. Yeah. This gives him way more options for slamming, for maneuvering. Yep. And actually for bombing next turn. So now if Hef comes around here, he can drop the proton bomb next turn there. Because uh, one is out of bombs. Oh, there we go. That's, a, that's what's up. Yeah, that's my only thought. And I think he might slam with this one or maybe not risk it. Just take a focus token and be, and be comfy. Remember, there's still some barrage rockets on these ships. Oh, yeah. 
So it's possible, I don't know, uh, maybe number three might have a... No, I think that's too far. Clear one of his two stresses. Yeah. Yeah, one's definitely out of bombs. Otherwise, Steven would have bombed last round. Aaron would have bombed last round, sorry. It, it looks like... It, it almost looks like he's got a range one shot on... Like, number one and number four K-Wing might have a range one shot on the U-Wing. And uh, this maneuver here by the Z-Wing is going to put him in an uh, awkward position. Another K-Box. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Unfortunately, he railed over he the debris. The, uh, yeah. He touched the debris. That's brutal. Yeah. He landed on it, actually. Yeah. It was close. Oh, my God. Oh, well, I... Th th this is like lights out, I think. Look at that. Focus. Is that four hits? No, two, no. a hit crit only. Right, right, hit crit. So two shields down. He does have elusive available. However, no, that, was the, that was the U-K-Wing, sorry, the U-Wing, E-Wing on the K-Wing. Oh, he does have it in arc. Okay, my yeah. bad. There's a hit crit. Do we know what the crit is? Blinded. Blinded. There we go. So what are they checking for here? Checking for range? Yep, he's checking for range on that on K wing three on K three. Oh, it's close. Oh no! Oh. Well, now you just moved all the ships. Oh, uh, loosey goosey. Well, now and now you can't tell because he got pushed around so much. Oh yeah, I mean it's going to be up to it's going to be up to Cam. All right, so this is going to be a range one shot on Heftober from number four. So Ray, uh, so K wing three was deemed out of range. Yep, just and one we hit. And we on the K wing four now. It's going to take that one hit. It's going to bring him down to four hull. That's half points at least. Another range one shot. If uh, Aaron gets lucky here, he could wipe uh, half off the board. This yep. attack D doesn't quite get the three hits. But John doesn't roll any uh, paint there. And now here's Hef's return fire. That's a bit better. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, is that a dead k -win? Nice. What? There goes Sabine. Yeah. Well, now, this is interesting. It absolutely is. Now, is that the right health on you the know Rogue Squadron? Uh, he, so he's he's gonna check. Travis is gonna check. Man, what what happened this game? Are things they're actually, K wings? They have one of eight die. They take damage. Right, but are things actually turning around for Jean? Absolutely, still can. He's one hundred percent still in the game. He's absolutely still in the game. Again, people forget the U wing has three attack die out the front arc. You give it a range one. Oh, half set one health oh, two. Health. I, okay, oh, uh, sure. Okay, half might die here. He'll he'll get a shot, assuming he well he'll clear he stress and be able to land though. Yeah, but Which, if, if Jean gets lucky, bigger, he gets focus of aid. The bigger concern is this uh, this budget discount Corin Horn just here sitting on full health. This R two D two Corin Horn, the yep. regenerating ship, who is perfectly capable of blinking <laughs> away and getting half health on both of Aaron's ships. Okay, there's is, a reason why Jean is still this, left where he is. Is this like the best kept secret of the Rebel Alliance? This this list right here. No, that's a bit strong. Elusive Chopper Rogue Squad. I've never seen. I this mean, before. that's a diamond in the rough that I don't think anybody was what? has figured out or put together. It's cute and it's interesting and it's great. Uh, probably because everybody leaves everything else. Oh wait, right, but bombs. Yeah, Hef can't, Hef can't come to all stop, right? No, because he's double stressed. That's why double stress is the best option. Yep. Yep. Nice setup. Still, uh, I mean, as I was saying earlier, even if Hef dies, if uh, if uh, Jean plays his cards right, I mean, he could potentially. I don't know. It's gonna be tough with 21 minutes left. Yeah. The K wings just have so much health. Yeah. 
I mean, if I'm well, shot, if I'm shot, I probably just hard one into that bomb. I don't care. I can regen it, target lock. Mm -hmm. You know, get some damage out. Remember, oh wait, he will be, will he be removed now? Well, he's gonna yes. he's gonna die before the engagement phase, yes, right? He will. Barrel roll. Oh wait, he can't. <laughs> it's just well, at least he's got Lando for a double focus. <laughs> yeah, why not? What was that move? Looks like a hard two. What? Oh, that's unfortunate. I even think the hard one. That, that still was been a questionable maneuver. I mean, I'm not sure why he did that. The hard one would have still been blocked. Is the two? Is the hard two a blue maneuver on an E wing? I, I honestly, I can't remember the. I, I literally can't remember the last time I looked at a uh -huh. E wing dial. Right. So that's dead. Fuel leak doesn't matter. It's dead. Yeah. She did. Two hits. <laughs> Double blanks. <laughs> the hero of the rebellion, apparently, the unsung hero of the rebellion, is Rogue Squadron Escort. We'll call that guy Jean Renault. Because he's a <laughs> professional. Yeah. For sure. That is true. He does have two shots against it. It's going to be spicy. Eh, this is a range two shot with a K wing. Yeah, but it has, it has no uh, mods. All right, here we go. Natties. Look I mean, at that. Sure. Here's where it begins. Come at me, bro. Here's where it begins. Now it now starts John Renault's climb to the top. <laughs> you can do it. Yeah, I agree. Chat, you guys are on it. Uh, Hef should definitely have coordinated a, with his last-ditch effort to focus. Would be great right about now. Yeah, he absolutely spent mm, that focus. Two hits. Oh. Oh, no. We were talking about a focus, right, squad? We were talking about a focus. Was that was that two hits there? Nah, it was two. He just took two damage. Okay, but then he's going to chopper now, right? Yeah, but now he has zero shields and choppers in action. Ah. Yep. Actions are quite important in, in X-Wing. So had that been a coordinate, he takes no damage. Right. Oh, thank you, chat. You're right. You can only get coordinated if you're not already stressed. See? Where are we without you guys? Nowhere. Too hard is not green, they're telling us on the E-Wing. I think it's banks and forwards, the usuals. Right. Yeah, the, the yeah, block, you can block, to stop the the block is also the maneuver so you here. Three, so. so you probably three bank with this guy and hard two with this guy. Oh. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you probably don't even have to three bank. You can hard two. You could just two bank with this guy. It's a big base. It fills up a lot of space. Right. We're going to get so much use out of that. 16 minutes left. There you go. So Jean, Jean's got a three hull ship. The natural blues on an E wings are the one banks and then the one to four straights. So I feel like their mobility has been kind of reduced a bit in the 2.0. Uh, I mean, they're normally you normally fly it with an R2 Astro, giving it all twos blue. All right, so Aaron coming in for the block. And I think uh, you might be right about uh, Aaron potentially doing, what did you say, a hard three? With uh, the hard two, four? E wings hard don't have two? hard threes. Right, okay. Yeah. Uh, I mean, you could, you could probably see the four straight then from the E wing to reload. Oh, sorry, to uh, clear stress. And then maybe chopper. Right. Let's see if John managed to escape. Oh, bad news. Oh, no. Uh, I feel like that move... I feel like John should have predicted that the K-Wing is going to come in a block. Well, the good news for John is that if he survives this round, at least the K-Wing doesn't have any more bombs to drop. Number right. three. So he won't necessarily have to worry about that. And yeah, fatigue definitely a thing. This is round four. Uh, players have been here since basically 10 a.m. playing X-Wing. There was a 30-minute break, but really, depending on how long your round three went, you either had it's quite enough, possible yeah. you only had like a 10-minute break. You might not even have anything yet today. Between rounds. Fellow caster, currently sitting, Emily, sitting at top eight. God, you get him, girl.
hit crit on an unmodded E-wing, or yeah, is that a crit? Yeah, it's a crit through the hull, blinded. Blinded pilots, the crit on the, the Rogue Squadron Escort. Warden 4 apparently only has one bomb left. Yep. Actually, was it blinded pilot? I just saw two stress getting put on. Uh, oh, it's panicked, not blinded. Panicked, sorry, it panicked panic. pilot. That's My even, bad. Ugh, that's even worse. That's a terrible crit for Sean to get there. Well, yeah, I mean, he for, really for needed to be able to do the regening. Yeah. To be able to get back in this game. Mm hmm. Yeah. I actually believe, agree with the chat. I'm almost, I would actually say that panicked is a way worse crit for him right now than blinded would be. Some t I feel like panicked is almost always the worst. Yeah, things are not looking very good for Jean. I mean, that that panic was just took the wind out of his sails. You know, pa panic pilots like one of those crits always shows up at the worst time. Well, whenever I, whenever I have Kylo, always take panic. Right. It's the first choice. It's the best of the pilot crits. Yeah. I think personally, there's no ship that. Sorry, when you like say best, you mean like the worst? It's the best to apply to your opponent. <laughs> okay. The worst. Yeah. Oh, unless, I guess he yeah, did have a true, bomb. Unless you're oh full. my god! I guess he did have one bomb charge. So yeah, the Ewing, the Ewing's probably sorry, UK. Oh, a two turn, really? I thought he might just go two forward and use his rear arc. Right. Yeah, I mean, uh, the Ewing kind of felt found no, itself it did in a bit of work. It was doing some damage earlier on. Well, sure, but it found itself in an awkward position at the start of the game when. Uh, Aaron dropped those two rattlesnake bombs yeah. to, well, it to had push to, Aaron, John away. It had away. to bug out. Yeah. And that's why that was a really effective use of Aaron's bomb. Right. That was a phenomenal use of his bomb mm -hmm. because it's pushed him away. Honestly, in this list, it's almost as if you don't even care if the bombs hit. It's zone They're, control, they, right? It's, exactly. It's the They're threat zoning. of Sabine is enough. It's board control. It's stay away from my rear, whereas which right. is where I'm weakest. Because a two-die attack isn't all that intimidating. Of course, yeah. You put and you put two of your arcs backward. I love the way Aaron has two arcs backwards, forwards, and then the other two arcs are sideways. He's covering all options and he splits them splits them up. It's a really great approach. I mean, th this is the type of list Aaron's been salivating over, uh, you know, ever since the points dropped. But I think he's been practicing this oh, yeah. fairly fairly um, yeah. hardcore. It's some spicy tech. Barrage rockets are good. Ships that can carry them that have high health are good. Well, it's Ships that can slam are good. <laughs> oh, it's almost no. as if it's almost as if we forgot the K wings were good. Remember Miranda? Remember those dark days? I how much I try to forget. All right. All right. Well, proton bomb goes off. Yeah, I think Sean also did not realize there was a bomb left. If that's a direct, nope. What is blinded it? pilot. This time it's blinded pilot. So one HP left, and, and my, now it, it won't matter. He's got yeah, he's got barrage rockets there. Yep. Here come the rockets. Shooty shooty. Yeah. Well, there you go. <laughs> all right, you got to roll paint. All paints. Oh, oh heroic. <laughs> yeah. Okay. That that's actually a bad thing. I feel like that's just dragging out the. Yeah. The, the agony. That's absolutely that, that's, heroic. That's almost like mocking you at that point, right? Like, rolling three evades, why can't it just be over with? I didn't, I didn't know resistance <laughs> upgrades were available on... Uh, and he's still evading? He's going he's gonna to yield anyways. Uh, it's triple eye boss. Oh, yeah. man. So, b both interesting lists. Uh, man, who knew 4K wings? So, th this, this actually was... Who knew 4K <laughs> What? Of course they were going to be good. Remember trip, remember Special K back in the day? Like I wasn't playing well, that was, back Well, that then, was when they know. were able to bomb on your head. Yeah. But, I mean, barrage rockets on high health ships are good. Spoiler right. alert. And then having enough spo points left over for bombs. So, we've seen the birth of, what do we call this? The 4K? Or no, the, the K-Box? The K-Box. So, we've seen the birth of the K-Box.